everyone myself archana i'll be taking physics for the 9th standard okay do you like science especially physics the basic phenomenon in world you can explain very well using the subject physics okay it's a very beautiful subject provided you have interest in it and you you are able to connect your daily life experience with this subject okay i would like to start with the lesson sound okay why i am starting with this lesson means this is easy for you to connect the things with your uh, with this lesson it's very easy the examples we are taking in your uh, is regular daily life experience okay now let me tell about sound okay what is the importance of sound in this universe see there are two major things which helps you to enjoy the beauty of this world okay one is vision the other one is sound okay without these two whether you can able to enjoy the beauty of this world the answer is no okay that much important the uh, lesson topic sound is okay in this lesson let me give you some brief regarding the lesson in this lesson what we are going to study is what is sound okay how it is produced and how it is propagated or transmitted later on we will be studying what are the major principle involved in the propagation of sound using the principle finally we will reach some advanced technologies that we are using in our modern world okay advanced technologies like you know when the baby is in womb of a mother the position the growth of the baby easily can be determined using ultrasound technique that means it's called ultrasonography okay using the sound signal sending it and reflecting it back we will get ultrasound signal or an image of that baby okay this is one technique another technique is see have you heard of uh, how the scientists are calculating the depth of the mines beneath the sea or any other sunken ship under the sea see how they are calculating means using the principle of sound okay they are sending some sound signal and uh, it reflect back using the time delay they can easily calculate the depth of the mines and whatever okay that technique is called sonar sound navigation and ranging so this type of advanced technology is all these are starting from the basic principle of sound shall we move on to the section yes okay let me explain what is the sound okay just like any other form of energy sound also is a form of energy like heat energy light energy etc because when i am talking actually my energy is spent isn't it that means my energy stored in uh, as chemical energy is converted to sound energy so sound is actually a form of energy which which gives a sensation of hearing to us okay and how the sound is produced sound is produced due to vibration of a body for example when i am tapping here what is happening this tap sound is actually produced due to the vibration of molecules of that solid so how the sound is produced means due to the vibration of different medias molecules of the medias okay that we will discuss in detail in uh, next uh, section next one sound is a type of mechanical energy sound always require a medium for propagation the material or uh, the entity through which sound is propagating is called a medium sound always require a medium for propagation that you should uh, you should remember without medium sound cannot be propagated that also we will discuss in detail okay now what are the sources of sound in daily life whatever things you are hearing first one you are speaking no when the teacher is taking class you are able to hear so teacher is the source of sound like that 
you know birds animals etc all these are the sources of sound different different sound and another thing vehicles vehicles are also producing sound right and different noises also is there and you know beautiful sound is produced from musical instruments like veena guitar etc the, that music you can enjoy huh? you, we can't say sound is always soothing to your ear there are some disturbances as well okay so what are it is all category comes under sound okay next we are going to the details of the production of sound what do you mean by vibrations and how it is transferred so what are vibrations see i am taking a tuning fork see this is called a tuning fork which easily explain the production of sound due to vibration okay when you are hitting the tuning fork with this and you are keeping close to your ear you can hear the vibrations ningala ile idu illa nundengil it's okay you can use steel scale normal steel scale and uh, just hit like this and keep it close to your ear you can very well hear the vibrations okay so how the sound is produced see sound is produced because of the vibrations here what i am doing is i am giving some energy to this tuning fork this prongs of the tuning fork get vibrated and you can able to hear the sound because the vibrations of this tuning fork is passing into the medium of this air air molecules are transferring this vibration slowly this vibration will reach your ear that is what happening here okay so what are these vibrations you can simply call it as these are the disturbances that travels through a medium vibration is just like a sort of disturbance which passing through the medium i am i'm telling you that medium is not only air okay it can be solid it can be liquid or air molecule all these three are mediums okay now when i am uh, exciting the tuning fork the tuning fork get vibrated and this vibration slowly pass on uh, to the uh, air molecules finally it will reach your ear there is a membrane in ear called ear drum hmm? this ear, ear drum also get vibrated and some procedures are happening that means the vibrations are slowly pass on to the next level internal ear and finally the brain that means cerebrum is the center of hearing the brain can sense the sound okay this is what happening so what is sound it is a set of vibrations which is passing through a medium okay medium can be solid liquid or gas so these vibrations slowly passing to the air molecules finally reaches your ear ear also get vibrated because of this external Uh, disturbance and finally the brain will be able to sense the sound okay is that clear to you yes so that's all regarding how the sound is produced it is just a series of disturbances or vibrations shall we move on to the next section okay next one i'm going to define the vibration how will you define if somebody asks you what is vibration you have to define properly na no? right so i'm going to define what is vibration it is see when i'm taking the tuning fork and exciting it what is happening it is repeated vibrations the repeated backward and forward movement of the particles of the medium is called vibration okay when the tuning fork get excited the this uh, ends are vibrating so it is repeated repeated forward backward movement of the particles of the medium is actually a vibration can you able to follow what is vibration it is the repeated 
backward forward movement of the particles of the medium ok. See when you are hitting two examples are given the vibration of tuning fork uh, creates pure sound another one is hammer when you are hitting the uh, nail with the hammer you can able to hear the sound right how when you are hitting the uh, hitting with hammer repeated sound is produced that means vibration the vibration is transferred to the air and you are able to feel the vibration okay so this is the definition of vibration so what is what are these vibrations they are very fast repeated to a to and fro motion or forward and backward motion of the particles of the medium okay and two examples are given there are many examples you can see in your daily life okay next section I'm going to show you an experiment where the vibrations are transferring how the vibrations are transferring and how we are able to hear the sound to experiment see what is this this is a tuning fork I already told you this actually gives you what uh, the frequency different frequencies of sound and the vibrations okay so I have taken different um, tuning fork and frequencies are written over here the values are written uh, regarding the frequency and all it's, it's explained in the coming sections oh it's okay some values are written here just uh, I'm grading the values it is 384 Hertz the value is 384 so different value tuning fork I have taken here next one is 480 Hertz this is of 480 Hertz of higher frequency compared to the other one and uh, this one is 512 frequency is small size okay so these are uh, three different sets of tuning fork frequency and then you will study in detail in the coming section just see there are many uh, tuning fork with the different different values okay so out of this I am selecting one of the tuning fork which is of 384 Hertz and this is just a rubber hammer observe the change in the water okay how the vibrations are transferring closely observe the surface of this water okay so what I am doing is I am going to excite the tuning fork by hitting with this hammer if you keep close you can hear the voice I am touching the surface can you see the splash I will show you once again the water gets splashed out of the beaker how because the vibration of this tuning fork is slowly transferred to the liquid molecules so vibrations can be transferred okay from solid to liquid that's what happening here okay another thing whether the same set of vibration can be transferred from one solid to another that's also possible that's what I'm going to show you again I am hitting with the hammer hammer once again what is this this is a simple pendulum arrangement okay simple pendulum means it's just a string at the end a bob is tied bob narna metallic iron ball that's all okay Sim why it is called simple pendulum means when it is moving it oscillates just like pendulum can you see so that's why this is called simple pendulum in higher classes you will be studying uh, how the pendulum works and further calculation also we will see if it just as in the motion so a simple pendulum is taken what I am going to see uh, going to show you is when I am giving the vibration observe the motion of the pendulum again I am keeping it stationary position
Okay. Observe when I am hitting with the hammer. See the motion? I am not doing anything to the that material. Okay, just I am keeping close. It's moving it high velocity. It's oscillate. It's oscillating. Okay. Why it's happening? It's happening because this is one of the solid. Okay. I'm giving energy to this tuning fork. This energy, due to this energy, the particles of the medium, that means tuning fork get vibrated. This vibration is transferred to the molecules of that bow. Okay. So vibrations can be transferred like this. So that is what I would like to explain. These are the two examples how the vibrating tuning fork splashes water. You observe right? Yes. Vibrating tuning fork makes the pendulum bob oscillate. That also I show you. Is that clear? So sound is a form of vibrations. It can be transferred through medium. It can be transferred from one medium to another. Okay that we have studied from this experiment, simple experiment using tuning fork. Is that clear to you? Is there any doubt? Okay, shall we move on to the next section? Okay. Just I am going to summarize what we have studied so far. Sound is produced by vibrating objects, you already see. Isn't it? Next one, sound is tra uh, transmitted through a medium. A medium is definitely required for the transmission. Medium can be solid, liquid or gas. It moves from one point of generation to the uh, other point. Okay. See, when an object vibrates, what is happening? The particles of the medium around it starts vibrating. This vibration slowly reaches your ear and you are able to sense the sound, okay. Whether you have, uh, you understood all these things, hope you, uh, hope so, okay. Next one, if there is no medium, a question I am asking to you, you just think about that. If there is no medium at all, whether the sound can be propagated? Okay, I will take a simple example. Well, do you know astronauts and all? Astronaut, that means they are away from the atmosphere, right? When they are working in spaceship or somewhere else, outside Earth, Earth's atmosphere, what is actually happening there? How they are communicating? The astronauts, when two astronauts are close together, hmm? when one person is saying something, the other person can't hear what the other person is saying, trying to say. Why? Because no medium at all. There is no air hmm, surrounding them. If there is no medium at all, how the vibrations can be transferred? It's impossible, right? Then one more question is there. How do they communicate? That's a question, right? How they can do the work? So they are communicating using microphones. Okay. Very close they are talking through microphones because microphone is an electromagnetic wave. Just to know each other. That wave is nature that is sound signals in a varied formula transmit that communication. Okay, that's what's happening there. So, anyways, without medium, sound cannot be propagated. That is the point you should know. Okay. So I think I believe that this much part is clear for you. Shall we move on to the next section? Yes. Take down notes while I am taking class, okay? So, see, till now, I was telling sound is a form of energy, right? Next, I am giving a new dimension to the sound. Next, I am going to call sound as waves, okay? Sound is propagated in the form of waves. Sound is a form of wave. Alle. A wave nature learn a sound propagate in the You know what is a wave? 
okay kadal you have seen waves right the same thing if you are throwing a stone to the undisturbed surface of water what is produced ripples this is a form of wave so like this ripples of water sound can be uh, propagated sound is also propagating in the similar way that means like waves okay so sound is a form of wave then what is wave and all how the sound is wave uh, what type of wave is sound that and all we will study in detail okay now just understand sound is a form of wave and it can be transferred through solid liquid and gas as well okay there is one simple example explain see this when i was a child when i was uh, studying in lower classes and all ee oru first one avada kaanichathu adu yan cheyidittundu pande in those days phones and all was not available for the children innu ningalde kayil okke smartphone aanu annu angane onnu undayirunnilla appo annu njangal kuttigal avumbo kalichu oru kaariyana ee parayunnathu take two paper cups okay connect it with a string and one person is talking from one end the other person can clearly hear what the this person says how because sound can be transmitted through solid right when the person is speaking it is converted to the form of waves these waves are slowly transmitted to the uh, next person okay that's what happening in the first example adana yan explain cheyada the image next one sound is propagated through uh, water as well that means liquids see the bell is ringing right mm? uh, the person above the water surface also can clearly hear the bell sound how because i already explained sound can be transmitted through liquids as well the third one without that communication is not possible sound is obviously transferred through air molecules that's what i explained in the third one so sounds get transmitted through medium okay it can be solid liquid or gas in the form of waves that's what we explained so far is that clear propagation um when i was taking class last year and all one child asked what is the meaning of propagation okay propagation is nothing but transmission it's another term for transmission enganeyana sound move cheyyana nalladinte aa term aanu propagation is that clear yes next is an interesting question see whether the sound wave propagates like light wave so interesting question you know light wave it's coming from sun right it travels through the spaces where there is no medium at all finally it ends up in our earth isn't it that means without medium also light can travel hmm? that's why it is able to reach our earth because there is no medium of air just like air outside earth so sound is uh, sound is not like that it requires a medium for propagation but light is a wave light is also a wave it do not require a medium okay so you understood that there are different types of waves associated isn't it even though we are calling light and sound as waves there are some difference that's what we are going to see we are not going to study all the waves in detail what is our point what type of wave is sound that we are going to explain so, uh, okay so let us see what is sound wave before that i would like to explain the types of waves the types of waves uh, here i mention is about mechanical waves actually there are uh, you can say mechanical wave division is of two types two types of mechanical waves are there one is longitudinal wave the other one is transverse wave okay so what are the types of mechanical waves 
one is longitudinal waves and the other one is transverse waves okay in either lada there are a set of waves also they are called electromagnetic waves idinne tottu munne i told you i asked you one question whether the sound wave and light wave are propagating like same type of waves the answer is no so light wave is a electromagnetic wave just understand what it is em waves electromagnetic waves we are not going to study in detail just for your information okay so light is an electromagnetic wave here i am going to explain about mechanical waves which are they longitudinal waves and transverse waves so just listen what what are they first i would like to explain transverse waves okay because uh, you have already seen that when you, when an undisturbed surface of water is taken when you are throwing a stone into it what is happening you can see some ripples like this illa enganalla waves inda ningal velathu kaanarille so that type of waves is actually transverse waves what is the term transverse means transverse means perpendicular okay the word meaning of transverse is perpendicular so transverse means waves means something something was uh, is perpendicular some directions are perpendicular what is that we were going to explain see when uh, i am going to take one example for explaining transverse waves easy example e kadal ചില പ്ലേസസിലൊക്കെ ഉള്ള ആൾക്കാർ ചെറിയ ബോട്ട് പിടി ബോട്ടിലൊക്കെ പോകുന്ന മീൻ പിടുത്തക്കാരുണ്ടല്ലോ അവർ ഈ ബോട്ട് എവിടെയെങ്കിലും സ്റ്റേഷനറി ആയിട്ട് വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് ഈ മീൻ പിടിച്ചു പോകുന്നത് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ബോട്ടിനെ അവിടെ നിർത്തിയിട്ട് അവർ മീൻ പിടിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് ക്യാൻ യു സീ ദ ക്യാൻ വെതർ യു ഒബ്സേർവ് ദ മോഷൻ ഓഫ് ദിസ് ബോട്ട് ഈവൻ ദോ ദ വേവ്സ് ആർ മൂവിങ് ദ ബോട്ട് ഈസ് നോട്ട് മൂവിങ് അലോങ് വിത്ത് ദ വേവ്സ് അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ ആ ബോട്ടിലുള്ള ആൾ കുറച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ കരയിലെത്തും അയാൾക്ക് മീൻ പിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റില്ല okay so what is actually happening there means even though the boat is stationary it is not moving along with the waves okay it's it's remains there stationary and it's moving up and down onna ini observe cheyatha or onnu nokka boat will be moving like up and down even though the waves are moving like this so when the boat is moving up and down means what is the particle there beneath that water molecules so water molecules is the medium molecules of that uh, medium okay when the water molecules are moving up and down the waves are moving like this so the can you explain the direction so particles of the medium here is water molecules how they are vibrating up and down but the wave is transmitting in different direction either this direction or this direction okay so the propagation of our wave direction is like this particles of the medium is vibrating like this what is the angle between these two this is 90 degree that means they are perpendicular so particles of the medium vibrates perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave such waves are called transverse waves hope it is clear how that term comes transverse means what perpendicular so what do you mean by transverse waves if the particles of the medium vibrates perpendicular to the direction of motion of the wave such waves are called transverse waves and one more thing the ripples in water right and the waves what you are observe in sea all these are coming um, un- under what transverse waves clear yes so here one diagram is explained can you see that's a wave okay it's a transverse wave you can see some um, elevated portions and depressed portions okay just like that and then straight line represent direction of propagation of wave and up and down actually re- represent the upward and uh, lower motion of the particles of the medium so that is a simple representation and wavelength also is mentioned there just go through it 
because we we have to study that in detail. Just I represented there. That's all. Very well. Next one is next type of mechanical wave is longitudinal waves. What are these waves? Just I have taken a spring-like thing. A spring is not. That is a very old version. It is slinky. S L I N K Y. Slinky. That slinky is a compression zone. Rare fractions on a diagram. Okay, can you see that? It's a slinky. It's a slinky. Here you can see when you are compressing a spring and releasing it, what is happening? You can see a series of compressions, rare fractions, compressions. So these types of waves are called longitudinal waves. What does the term indicate? What do you mean by longitudinal? Longitudinal the word and the meaning is parallel. So what is parallel here? Let us check. Okay. So this is a slinky. When you are compressing it and releasing a slinky or a spring, very small spring. Okay. Slinky you can observe the vibrations. Slinky is a big size side of spring. Okay. So here what is happening means particles of the medium is spring and spring in the molecules. Okay. That is vibrating coming close and it is moving far, creating some regions. These regions are called compressions. Compressions means what? A region where high density is there. That means more and more molecules are close. That region is called compressed region. The other one is rarefacted region. That means the space where the molecules are far apart. Rarefactions. Again, compression. So what are the regions? Compressions, rarefactions, again compression, like that it moves on. Okay. There are set of series of vibrations happening here. And one more thing, this is the direction of propagation of this wave. Like any other wave oscillating that means direction of propagation of wave is like this only and the particles of the medium also vibrate in the same direction the, the slinky is not moving up and down slinky is there and vibrate like this isn't it it's not moving up and down so the particles of the medium that means slinky molecules it also vibrate like this and wave also is slowly propagating like this so what does it mean the particles of the medium and the wave is parallel. Direction of the propagation of wave is parallel. So such types of waves are called what? Longitudinal waves. Okay. So what do you mean by longitudinal waves? If the particles of the medium vibrates parallel to the direction of propagation of wave, then such types of waves are called longitudinal waves. I explain using a simple equipment called slinky, isn't it? So, this is the best example on our topic, sound. Sound waves are the best example for longitudinal waves. Like how the wave is propagated through the slinky, similarly sound wave is transmitting through air. Okay, so sound wave engineering transmission, when I am talking, what is happening? There are a series of molecules here around me, isn't it? When I am talking, these vibrations or this energy slowly hit the molecules just close to me. And these molecules get vibrated like this. And this vibration slowly transfer to the next set of molecule. Again, that molecule also get vibrated. Similarly, these types of vibration slowly reaches your ear and eardrum also vibrated. This vibration transferred to the inner ear because of this vibrations auditory nerve. There is a nerve called auditory nerve in your inner ear. Okay. The, uh, that nerve get excited. So slowly that impulse is going as electrical signals to your brain and brain is interpreting as a sound. Okay. So what type of wave is sound? It is longitudinal wave. So what are the characteristics of a longitudinal wave? 
See, when the particles of the medium vibrates parallel to the direction of propagation of wave, such waves are called longitudinal waves. Clear? So, what are the types of mechanical waves? First one is transverse waves, next one is longitudinal waves. In transverse waves, particles of the medium vibrates perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave, example ripples in water. Next type of waves are longitudinal waves in which the particles of the medium vibrates parallel to the direction of propagation of wave, example our wave, our sound wave. Okay. Is that clear? So, what was the answer for our first question? Whether light, uh, light wave and sound wave are similar? Now you know the answer. They are not alike. Okay. Light is a special type of wave which is called electromagnetic wave. Uh, that means electric field and magnetic field are cross uh, and propagating. And it does not require a medium for propagation. But sound is what? An, uh, sound is not an electromagnetic wave. It's a type of mechanical wave. It's actually a type of longitudinal waves which require a medium for propagation. And how do they propagate? The particles of the medium is vibrating parallel to the direction of propagation of wave. Is that clear? Yes? Okay. It's a very important topic. Go through it once again. Longitudinal waves and transverse waves. Shall we move on to the next section? So, our answer, we got the answer, right? What type of wave is sound? Sound waves are the examples of longitudinal waves. They are mechanical waves since the sound waves require a medium for propagation. So, this is the answer. Next, we will move on to different parts of a wave. Okay. See, any wave if you take, whether it is longitudinal waves or transverse waves, you can explain different things, some important characteristics of the wave. Let us see what are they. Can you see this wave? See this way, you can see different portions. Some regions are elevated regions. Some regi regions are depressed regions. That means, see, you can call the high points of the wave or elevated points of the wave as crest. Okay? The depressed portions of the wave or the uh, low points of the wave is called what? trough okay so a wave is a series of crust and trough hmm a crust maatralla crust and trough mix aayi varuna or series aanu or wave ennu parannu and one more thing starting from this point and ending to this point kanda from this to this this is a wave this is a wave that means a crust or a crust plus trough constitute a wave. In Yangani Allah, similar type of excited points also is a wave. Uh, that means from this point, starting from this point, completing to the same type of level, that is also another wave. Okay. So in similar way you can calculate the uh, how a wave is okay that we will discuss in coming section just I am giving you an introduction regarding what are the parts of wave so what are the different parts of a wave one is crust the other one is trough what is crust it is the high point or elevated point of a wave what is trough it is the depressed point position or low point of a wave okay so uh, what do you mean by compression CF? This is our longitudinal wave, right? Example of a longitudinal wave. What, may, what do you mean by compressed region? The regions where the particles are of high density. The particles are very close enough. That regions are called compressions. And the regions where particles are far apart. 
are called rarefactions. That means their density is less. Compressions means the regions where the density of particle is more and rarefactions are the regions where the density of particle is less. So a wave is a series of longitudinal wave is a series of compressions and rarefactions which is passing through the medium. Clear? So what are the parts of a wave? Two major parts of the waves are crust and trough. The high points of the wave is called crust and low points of the wave is called trough. Compressions, more dense regions are called compressed, compressed regions. What are rarefacted regions? Less denser regions are called rarefacted regions. Okay. So this is an introduction to the different uh, terms regarding the wave. Mm? In next class, we will study what are the basic characteristics of a wave. Okay. Any sound wave in the propagation, it is a slingy which is the longitudinal waves. Any actual sound wave in the propagation, this is the tuning fork. Okay. The tuning fork, fork vibrations are transferred to the air. Anganyanangil, Anganyan is in the vibrations transfer in the line of diagram. In the Namkana material, air, we can't see anything. But this is the way in the number interpretation. So, when the tuning fork is getting excited, the air around it, next to it, uh, is get compressed. Korcha molecules compress here. So, this is the region of compressions. So, as a result of this compression, if you have a compression, normally, that is rarefacted. That is what is happening here. Here, the molecules are far apart. They are rarefacted. Okay. Again, such set of region is formed. This is called compressed regions. And the other region is called rarefacted. So, like this, the series of compressions and series of rarefactions are transferred through this air. If I am here, I am standing here, I can hear this, I can feel the compressions and rarefactions in, a, in my eardrum. Slowly you can sense the sound. Okay. And one more thing I would like to say is, molecules are, are not undergoing any translatory motion. That means, when the tuning fork is getting vibrated, the molecules are not moving from this region to any other region. That is most important thing. They are standing in their position only and they are vibrating. Okay? They are not undergoing any translatory motion or the change in position. They are standing in their position and just slowly get vibrated. Slowly these vibrations are transferring, that is all. Disturbance are get transferred, the molecules are not at all transferred. Only disturbance are get transferred. This is the most important thing you should remember. Okay. Like this, the longitudinal waves are transferred or the sound signals are transferred. Compressed region, I am going to denote it with a C, let us see. Rare factor regions is denoted with R. So, a series of C, R, C, R regions are there. Okay. Is that clear? See, compressed region, can you see? The molecules are very close. They are of high density. What about rare factor region? The molecules are far apart and means the density is less. Okay. Next one again compressed region, the molecules are very tight enough and rarefacted they are far. Like that it goes on. Okay. So, this is a simple explanation how the sound is propagated. Hope, hope you understood what I taught till now. Okay. So, the tuning fork, a series of compressions, rarefactions are happening. Finally, it reaches your ear. See? In next class, we will be studying 
some equations regarding the propagation of sound and some numericals based on that. Oh, uh, I think you have, uh, you understood what, what all I taught till now, okay. Just we explain what is sound, what are the major sources of sound, okay. Then how the sound is produced. There are, they are a set, series of vibrations and our brain is finally interpreting. Next, uh, what is a vibration? We explain using a simple experiment, isn't it? How the vibrations are transferred from one medium to another or the molecules, uh, that means the molecules of the same medium itself. Next, uh, we consolidated the properties of sound. Next one, sound can propagate through any medium, that means it requires a medium, that is it. Uh, maybe it is a liquid, um, it is air, whatever it is, it requires a medium, that is all. Next question I, I asked was whether the sound and the light, they are similar types of waves. Now you know the answer, what is it? No. They are different types of waves. Types of waves, these are the types of mechanical waves, longitudinal waves and transverse waves. This is one of the important topic in this lesson, okay, go through it. Next one, um, what type of wave is sound wave? It is a longitudinal wave and we just introduce um, what are the parts of a wave whether it is longitudinal or transverse, the different parts of a wave. And this is the diagram representing the propagation of wave, sound wave through air. There it produces a regions. So finally, the sound reaches your brain, okay. Is that clear children? We will continue in next class. Thank you.